Hi, and welcome to day six of my December daily process videos. Today, I'm going to try to do six, seven, and eight, but I haven't decided quite how I'm going to divide them up depending on how long it takes. So for day six, I have this um, silhouette die cut number six. Um, I can't remember what the font is because my girlfriend Autumn cut this out for me. And then what I did was I used, I used the star stencil. I can't remember who makes this, but I'll look it up and put it on the uh, description down below. And then I also use this Nouveau Glimmer Paste. This one is in the color Raspberry Rotolite. And I just um, put the paste all over it and then let it dry. So what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna try to put some journaling here or some kind of embellishment here because on the back I'm gonna do a picture. So the picture I have is we went to see my girlfriend's daughter in the Nutcracker. And here she is, isn't she beautiful? I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out, trace it and cut it so that the kids are in this six part. And then I'll just take a pen and just draw around this. It doesn't need to be perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. Now I just need to measure this area to see um, how big my journaling space is going to be. So it's about... So let me go ahead and do some journaling and I'll be right back. Okay, you'll see that I went ahead and printed this on vellum and I'm gonna hope that this fits this way. And it does. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that up a little bit so that I can adhere that there. Give it a little space for um, the adhesive. And make sure that fits there. Okay, and then I'm gonna adhere this to the back. Just realize the vellum shows here, so let me cut that piece out. There we go. Oh, perfect. I'm just gonna cut a little bit here that um, is not even. I'd rather cut the picture big than too small. So let me go ahead and cut the excess off here. And then a little bit. Okay, let's make sure it looks good from here. Okay, there, that does. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hole puncher this is the We Are Memory Keepers hole punch, and I'm just gonna punch right where these holes are. Don't mind my shaky hands. I've had coffee, but no breakfast. I'm trying to make use of the time that my kids aren't home. So there's that. So in my album, I also have these tickets. So the number six will go here like that. And then I want to add the program that came with it, and I'm using the Felicity Jane Acetate Poppins that she sells separately in her store. And I need to buy a bunch of these because we I love going to shows. So what I'm going to do is adhere this somehow like this so I can measure how to put that in. Okay, so just take this white thing off here. And there we have it. That's perfect. See, and then that's gonna just go into there. That's the program. And then I also wanted to add these tickets from the show. Um, I'm thinking about just adding it like with the ribbon. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and just punch a couple holes here in the top of, top of the ticket. And then I'm gonna take some of this trim that I have. Yeah, I think I am gonna do that. So I'm gonna punch a hole there as well. And then tie this through. Oh, so I was listening to a YouTube channel the other day and they were talking about how some people, the viewers, like it when they're being talked through the process and others like it when you just show them the final results and how you're working through that final decision. Um, let me know what you guys like. If you guys like it that I'm talking you through my process of how I'm deciding what to do what, or if you just want to see me execute my decision. 
okay? All right, so there's that. So that's for day six with this. So now for day seven. The story I'm putting in is about a cookie exchange that my daughter was invited to. We made these hot cocoa cups. It's a cookie with a marshmallow with a candy cane on the side with hot chocolate on top and marshmallows on top. We did this in a real rush because I was coming from another event, but Kaya won the most creative. So I wanted to put that in there, as well as this is the prize. She won some baking items for the prize for winning the most creative. So proud of her because she picked what she wanted to make. I just helped her with some of the icing because her little hands won't squeeze the icing tube that, much, that well. So my day eight looks, I was gonna use this, this is magic and put something in here for the cookie exchange. But I also want to include all these pictures because these are all the girls that came to the cookie exchange and these are all the moms that get together every year. So what I actually think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a double spread. So I'll do something like this. I know it's picture heavy, but it does say cookie exchange here and I do need something simple because um, my other pages are so ornate. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little tabby thing here so that they know to pull this out. And this time I'm using a, what size is this? One and a half inch tab. And I'm just gonna adhere it to there. And then I'll stamp something on the top of this. This is from Allie's December Daily 2015. And I think I'm gonna use one of these words in here. I think I'm gonna use to celebrate this. Let's see if that fits in here. Okay, so let me go get, I think I wanna use some red ink. Okay, I'm gonna put celebrate this using the red stays on, it's called blazing red. And if I have it in this way, then I want it to show it this way. That did not cut straight. Let me try that again. So this will go in here. And excuse the uh, uneven. I After I painted this, I put it next to a transparency and it lifted off. And I don't have this screen print. It's my girlfriend Laura's. And I borrowed it when we were doing the December Daily Divas prep party. So I don't have that. Anyway, so now what I need to do is I want to write somewhere, maybe cookie exchange, and I need to add the number seven. Okay, here's the number seven. She also did get this most creative. Okay, I'm gonna go look for some letter stickers so I could add something here. After some hemming and hawing, I went through some more of my supplies. Um, and what I am going to do is, I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna do this, add this here. So let me go ahead and add this. This is a snap flip up pockets. It has adhesive attached to it, which makes it super easy. This, even though this is magic, is now gonna be covered. And then I'm gonna go through and punch these holes. I'm still gonna put this cookie exchange in here with this, this is magic. And I'm gonna put these photos in like this. And then I think I wanna staple this magic there. These girls have all known each other since the oldest siblings were infants. So these moms and I, um, we've been getting together, we started becoming friends when we all did stroller strides together with our firstborns. And 12 years later, we're still keeping the memories together and doing a bunch of things with our kids, even though everyone's going to different schools. Okay, and then I'm just gonna staple this magic down. This is like a tiny attacher I bought at a scrapbook store years ago. 
then I need to put the seven somewhere. But I think I want to ground it with something. I found this um, little three by eight card from Paisley Press. Cut these up to fit in here. Then I'm gonna journal on here. So then what I can do is I can put another something on this side. Is that too much white on white if I do it? Yeah. Okay, maybe I will have to do white on white. So let's go back and see. Or maybe I'll just do this. There we go. Then I'm going to put this in a 3 by 8 page protector. So if that goes in like that I can put something else here and I do want to add this tag I think I'm just going to cut off this to and from I'm going to attach this number seven maybe add some die cuts I think that's how it's going to have to be okay let me go ahead and adhere this down and then I'm gonna use my Scotch quick dry adhesive for this one. And I'll just cut the back of this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put on a three by four transparency right there. And on the other side, I'll put another tag. Okay, I have a three by four transparency here. And I went ahead and put adhesive behind this tag. So I'm just gonna place that right on there. Then punch a hole. And then I'm gonna wait to see what I'm gonna put on here for number eight. But this'll go in here. And for here, I want to put something. I'm gonna put this wood veneer right here. So there you have it, my day seven. One thing I did decide to do is put an, a tab right here so that they know to turn the page. I'm gonna use the I love this because. Okay, I'm gonna use this olive green stays on ink um, and stamp on this two inch. And that's also from the December Daily 2015. She has so many little sayings in that one. Again, I apologize for the lighting. San Diego hasn't decided if it should be rainy or sunny. And then I'm just gonna put that like right here. All right, and there we have day seven. Do I wanna add anything here? I think I need to add another tabby here. So let me add another one. And on this one, I'm gonna put in Love This Memory. Then I'll go back to using, I'm gonna use green again. And then I decided to put this Be Merry the other way because that's how I read it. Okay. There you have it, days six and seven. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.